welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Oh boy, have you forgiven me yet for having a very long episode on Monday? Hopefully this one will uh, be a little shorter. I felt bad because like we found that save point at 30 minutes or so, and then there wasn't another one for a whole other hour. Like, oh, come on. But now here we are at the Black Castle. So I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty um, climactic battle. Should be exciting. Three holes. What are they? They might be something to do with the statue of the goddess. Well, why do you think so? Because look. It seems this place is for admiring the statue. There must be something. Yes. We, we have the three stones. Oh. Oh. I was thinking it was like gonna make me puzzle out which stone goes where, but it's only giving me one option for each, so... All of them fit. Hmm. My apologies for that little interruption. I had to cough very badly, so I muted the mic. Hopefully it didn't sound too weird. I've also got some water here next to me, so I'm good now. Uh, the door opened! I got it! Yes, we got it. Okay, I thought that was going to be like a warp teleport up or something. Oh. It's within the statue. Built into the wall. How interesting. That's, um, quite the bit of architecture there. Hmm? Stay back. I smell blood in this air. It's not human. Congo. Gigantos don't lose twice. Gigantos make payback for hoax. For his majesty Dole. Gigantos don't lose twice if there's a third battle. Then Gigantos lose three times. Okay. Um, well... Should I use a total vanishing just to, like, insult him? I think you're a minor enemy. <laughs> Kidding. Um... Okay, I've got a lot of singular attacks here. I'm just gonna start using whatever with Shauna. Of course, Albert and Dart will stick to their additions. And multi. Mash X, go 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 one eighty two. Not bad at all. Hundred eighty two percent for hundred forty three damage. Okay, that hit wasn't quite as heavy as I thought it was going to be. That's good news for me. I feel like. Oh! Brutal. Like, Shauna killing Brutal. It's not cool. Okay, Albert sends to do more damage. I'll revive... I'll revive Shauna on Dart's turn. Oi! That was, um... Holy crap, dude. Slow down. Why are you so fast? 
Okay, it was uh, Angel's Prayer. Here you go, Shauna. We're gonna put her on defense for a little while, cause me take another one of those hits and I'm just gone again no matter how much HP I have. Oof, that's still shattering. Man, they do not let you defend your ladies well in this game. At least not so far. Unless I completely missed something. I thought finding that armor would help, but... I mean, I guess it helps a little. But like, dang. I can't put her in the back row. I can't give priority to Dart or Albert to be targeted. There's no aggro. Like... I just have to sit here and hope I don't get slaughtered. Yay, A plus game design. Eh, year 2000, what can you do? Oh! Ow? So if I miss with part of my addition on this guy, it looks like he can counter me. That sucks. Makes perfect sense, but it sucks. Okay, Albert. Um, here you go, buddy. Oof. You know, I'm really thinking maybe having Shauna in the party is just straight up a mistake. She doesn't actually really heal that well. The game gives me ample opportunities to get healing potions before boss fights. And then this crap keeps happening, where Sean is always targeted by the big hits. So um, I think it's time to take Shauna out of the party, because this is not acceptable. It's... it's I, I'm just going to say it, Shauna's unplayable. Like. It, please, if I am wrong about that, somebody correct me in the comments. I would love to know how to make Shauna viable. She just isn't. Like, I'm going to keep reviving her because I want her to get experience, especially for a big fight like this, but dang. The game's just like, you dare use girl? Oh, uh, you die. Come on. It's ridiculous. Again? Seriously? This is exceedingly stupid. Wow. Wow, I'm just about out of words. Like... Level grinding in this game is stupid because you get so little experience outside of boss fights. Um, I've given her the best equipment I can get. I'm having her defend. She should not be a target like this. In any reasonable situation, say we're playing D&D, which JRPGs and RPGs in general are all sourced from, well not sourced from, but originate from Dungeons and Dragons. That's, uh, it was trying to bring Dungeons and Dragons to the computer. Um, any decent dungeon master would have enemies targeting the biggest threats, which are the ones who are actually attacking and dealing damage not the one who's struggling to stay alive. Like, any reasonable DM would either attack randomly and not focus on the healer, if the enemy's mentality was such, 
or they would, you know, if it was a clever enemy, should be attacking, should be fighting the fighters. Oh my gosh, I cannot get my timing right all of a sudden on Rod Typhoon. Anyway, and if it's an exceptionally smart enemy, sure, maybe target the healer. I'm done. I'm so done. Bro, excuse me? Two of these in a row? At least for the first time in his entire freaking life, he's targeting someone other than Shauna. Pardon the semi-coarse language, I try not to go there on my channel, but... Oh, I'm, I'm kinda angry. No, let's hang on to that. Here, suck on this. Do the killing blow with Shauna. That'll make me feel good, right? Revenge is a dish best served by chucking items at your enemy's face. In this case. Okay. Time to calm down. We get... What would that be? 2,000 divided by 3. 667 experience each. So I guess Shauna will level up. But like... What's the point? Oh. Rose... Did he cut his head off. Gigantos with strongest armor, lost. Me, brother of hero, has pride. Cannot live in disgrace. Kill me. As you wish. Stop it. The game is already over. Game? Don't be silly. This is a matter of life or death. It's over. He cannot fight. Shauna, you of all people should be like lining up the headsman's axe right now. Hope your sweetness won't kill you. Okay. Uh, I don't know how far back I'm gonna have to run, but I'm gonna run back and heal and restock items and pick a new party member. Because if Shauna's going to do nothing but be a target, it's not Shauna's fault, but that's not playable. I need better damage output than that. Um, let's bring in Heschel. 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 Heschel, Heschel. Heshushish. Heshushushush. Sorry, Hashel. I'll get his name right. I think the power wrist is the way to go here. I don't understand. Like, look how bad Albert's defenses are. Compared to Shauna's. But Shauna was taking so much more damage. Is Shauna just, like, broken? Is this a glitch? Like, Shauna was taking... Well, I guess they took about the same, but... Shauna's HP pool is just laughable. 330. Come on. Compared to 636, 521, even Rose's 405. Uh, I'm really frustrated by this because I want Shauna to be viable. I want to have Shauna in my party. I like Shauna. She's interesting to me. You're not going to help me with anything, are you? But anyway. Can't, uh, can't fight stupid. 
or something. I gotta find my way down. No. Here's another stupid game design. Having to light these elevators every time. Bro, if the green torches can stay lit, the purple faces can stay lit. Be a little more consistent in your magic design if you're gonna build a universe. Come on. Okay, now I can activate this one again. Go down. Okay, and I think I remember the way up, so we'll get back pretty quickly. Alright, um... What's through here? Yeah, and then here. This guy heals. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother reading this dialogue. Check our status now. Yeah, we're looking good. And Shauna is healed up as well. Okay, so it does heal the back row. Or back row with air quotes. The only thing now is I have only two dragoons in my party. Another question. Hashel versus Rose. Hashel is just like all around better. He's got a lot more HP and all stats. Then again, if I do this, um, oh, okay, so I can't take equipment off, huh? Maybe if I do it in here? No? I just can't take it off. I, I can't. Unless I have equipment to downgrade it to. I guess in a way that makes sense, but... <laughs> Come on. Gotta get in a, a few pointless fights here. And get back to the item shop. As if I even remember where the nearest item shop is. Oh, miss. Oh boy, I'm all off my game now. Time to learn me a new addition. Oh, is that how Hashel's voice is supposed to sound? I guess I'll have to adjust, ad adjust voice. There we go. That voice does not suit him at all. <laughs> oh, there we go. That felt good. Get back on my Rod Typhoon game. So between this episode and Monday's episode, I think I shall do a little bit of research. See if I can find anything out there on the good old interweb about other people who have played this game and found a way to make Shauna actually viable in battle. I don't want to say actually worthwhile or actually worthy because I think all characters are worthwhile or worthy in some regard. Um, this isn't Chrono Cross. We don't have to deal with friggin' Van or anything. Sorry, Van. But there are unusable tier characters in Chrono Cross. Sort of. But yeah, like, I really want to be able to use Shauna in my party. But I have to be able to use her before I try. Thank you. 
Ooh, stunned. Good. Can't run away now. There we go. More experience points and more addition usage. Always a good thing in this game. Gotta keep those level ups flowing. But at the same time, if I can avoid a few mook fights, I may as well. Very early. Goodness. So, how's everyone doing with Scarlet and Violet? Pokemon. Um, I found 13 shinies today. <laughs> the game is busted. If you're uh, into shiny hunting Pokemon. I did fail one. Um, I found a very high level Hoppip. Well, as far as Hoppips go. Uh, pro tip. If you find a Hoppip that's, like, very high level at all, be careful, it might know Memento, which knocks itself out in order to debuff you. And if it's a shiny, then you fail your shiny. That happened to me. So, I, the next shiny I found today was another Hoppip. So, now that I knew that, I was able to prepare for it. Um, and I caught the second one. Yeah, that's my first shiny fail of this Pokemon generation. Hopefully my last. I don't usually fail very many shinies. I'm a rather careful, cautious shiny hunter. It's something I'd like to do, but it doesn't make for good YouTube videos unless you find shinies and, like, really pop off when you find them. I don't do that because, like, I'll just rile up my kid. Okay, so I can't go back to the item shop. That sucks. Anyway, I'll rile up my kid during the day or I'll wake him up at night, so... I can't get all like, whoa, whoa, shiny, ah, ah, and jump around the room and stuff, right? Uh, not to mention, that just doesn't sound like fun to me. <laughs> like, I don't enjoy uh, exercising. I know that's a terrible thing to say, but it's true. I'll exercise grudgingly if I really have to. But to, like, get up and hop around the room and go all crazy and stuff is way more physical activity than I want to exert um, for a dang video game. Unless it's, you know, Dance Dance Revolution. Not that I play that anymore, but I used to. It was a lot of fun. Got in pretty good shape from it and uh, out of shape now, but yeah. I don't know how to avoid this guy. <clears throat> Maybe I have to run in when he's a little closer to the first staircase. But anyway, I'm trying to go through and get all the new Pokemon as shinies. So, everything that was introduced in this generation. Including different forms, like uh, Wooper has a new form, Paldean Wooper. And that's an old Pokemon from Generation 2, gold and silver on the Game Boy Color. 
That was the 13th shiny I got today. Actually, it was uh, Peldean Whooper. And I got a new evolution. Yes. Clawed Sire. There we go. Um, this one's tough. Probably because I missed the addition with Dark. Uh, and then a couple of older Pokemon like Girafferig and Primeape got new evolutions. So I'll be shiny hunting those eventually as well. I forgot there was another one at the end. I suppose I could have avoided that last one. But it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, those Rod Typhoons are feeling really good now. I've got it down pat. Yeah, use a fire attack on my fire resistant dude. That's, that's good. I appreciate it. I think there may have been a store somewhere in the Black Castle. I'd really like to grab another couple healing potions before we move on. Because I really feel like the fight with Emperor Dole is like next. isn't a store any further and I'm just gonna have to get good. back to my thought from a minute ago though shiny hunting doesn't make for the best YouTube videos always um, unless you have big reactions again I don't but it makes for good streaming I, I love um, hanging out in streams where people shiny hunt uh, there's one I'm at every night I've mentioned him before um, in my Dragon Quest Builders 2 series but I go there every night um, sometimes I shiny hunt along sometimes I'm playing something else But that's fun, because if you're streaming your shiny hunts, then you can just, like, chit-chat with people. And then when you get a shiny, everyone gets excited. When somebody in the audience gets a shiny, we all get excited for them. Um, that makes good live content. Ooh, that guy's stunned. I'm going to attack the other guy. But, as I've mentioned on this channel before, right now, in 2022, I'm not able to stream. And this is due to my internet. My house is literally too far away from the utility pole to have a cable run down to it for internet. Uh, other than the phone lines that were put in when we moved in here. Well, when my wife moved in back in 2011, before we'd even met. Um, but fear not, we're not on dial-up. But maybe fear for me a little bit, because we're on DSL. And uh, that's not much better. Yes. Oh my goodness, I was early. Ha, ha, 
Okay, so far I'm liking Hashel. Like, yeah, his addition is only one hit, which is really helpful. But, um... Not having a third Dragoon is kind of a bummer. Other than that, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I think I want to go... Let's see what's... What I can see up here. There's another guard. I'm going to have to fight him. don't think this one's really avoidable. I can't believe it. It's been like a day since I recorded and I've already forgotten where the nearest item shop is. How embarrassing. Oh, I just had a silly thought. Since I'm running back through places here, I could totally switch Shauna in just for like a couple fights to heal up without using my healing potions. And I might want to do that especially, well... What? Albert must be weak to fire. Okay. Well. I think I'll do it. Do I need to be... Hey, I don't even need to be at a save point. Okay. Well, next fight I'll have Shauna Dragoon up and heal. Albert. Oh. Hello, my cat is in the room with me. I didn't realize she was taking a nap uh, somewhere behind the desk, I guess. Let me put this on mute just a sec while I let her out. for the weird little interruption there. They seem to be plentiful tonight, these weird little interruptions. <sighs> okay. Oh, I am a dingus. Um, I just realized I don't have to have Shauna heal. Because silly me, we absolutely have a free healing right here. Bingo bango. All healed up, right? Let's look at Albert. Yep. Good to go. Yes, I'm using your stupid magic oil. Can't interact with that middle thing. Does anyone down here have items for sale? he's not going to sell me anything. Alright, I'll have to make do with what I have. Come on, let me back out. I can even get dumped now. Down. Okay, I made it without getting dumped down. 
Even if I'd been knocked down into the garbage disposal area, I could just climb up and get out. Well, okay. No item shops. Oh, stupid purple flames. Those really should stay lit. Like, I get it, lore-wise. I get it. But from the perspective of somebody who's actually trying to play the game and have a good time... Oh, it's irritating. And these two are back. Alright, here we go! Ah, didn't quite make it. Would have been hilarious if I had. Guess I gotta hop over to uh, one of my Zelda files and get my Pegasus boots. From like Link's Awakening or something. Link's Awakening, by the way, is actually my favorite Legend of Zelda game. Particularly the first one on Game Boy. Not the DX version, not the Switch version. Don't get me wrong, those are both great. Oof, messed up the last hit. But yeah, just that good old classic Legend of Zelda on a gray cartridge. Hmm. Link's Awakening. I actually have a long play series of that here on this channel. It's a five episode series, and uh, if you watch it, I had an embarrassing moment in the eighth dungeon where I got completely lost and I couldn't remember where I had to go. I had to cut out a big chunk of it during editing. Turns out there was a wall that I hadn't bombed. And that took me exactly to where I needed to go to finish the dungeon. <laughs> it was very silly. I don't remember this guy being here. I could be misremembering. up the double punch though. Just thinking about, oh, you know what, I'm getting healing potions from some of these fights, so that's good. Anyway, just thinking about like PS1 era games. Ooh, I could fight that dude. Again. Nah. Let's go and get this, uh, hopefully, dull fight done with. Anyway, PS1 era games uh, and the experimentalism that happened in the JRPG scene at this time. Oh boy, there was a lot of really, like, interesting and creative stuff. Like the additions here. A little bit more fleshed out uh, version of the Gunblade system from Final Fantasy VIII. Although I think FF8 came after this game. Hmm. Well, anyway. Um, let me make a precautionary save here. Another really cool experimental JRPG that I've played is called Legend of Lagaya. Now, I have it on good faith that the second Legend of Lagaya game on PlayStation 2 sucks. Uh, so I'm not even going to ever try that one. But the first one is really fun. Uh, it's a JRPG, turn-based, but when you're in combat, when you attack, you get to input commands. Like it's um, a fighting game sequence. Hmm, okay. 
Okay, whatever. And so you do different combos and different special attacks that way. And that was really fun. Maybe I'll do that on this channel one of these days. I think the next game after this one might just be Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast. Um, if I can get it up and running on my PS Classic, and if not, then I will actually bust out my old Dreamcast and put it in potato quality <laughs> capture uh, and see what I can do. I wonder how you could come all the way here. Silly daredevils. You must be dull. Uncle, do you remember me? I'm the son of your late brother, Albert. You remind me of Carlo 20 years ago. A blood-stained corpse in front of me. Why did you kill him? Why did you have to divide Sergio by killing my father? To save Sergio from an incapable leader named Carlo. And now my hands are about to give birth to the new Sergio. Birth. What you're doing is only destructive. Yes, you've given birth to sorrow, pain, agony, and our anger. Tell me, why did you have Shauna taken away? Oh, you are talking about Lloyd's conspiracy. Find the girl by the time the moon that never sets waxes. All is ordered by the reborn Emperor Diaz. Lloyd is a mere pawn. Along with the dragoons. Silly. Emperor Diaz died in the dragon campaign as a human hero. I don't care whether you believe it or not. It won't make any difference to the reality. You thought you would defeat me with greater numbers, right? Come, I'll send you to your father's place. Oh, hey, I was doing a voice that was pretty close for him. Sweet. All right. Um, we can't Dragoon Special because we don't have three Dragoons. So I want to start off with, I think, Albert attacking... Okay, 125. That feels like it's a good start. Goodness. Okay, only 72. Um, all Hashel can really do is attack. But he hits for a good amount. The stun didn't work, but I wouldn't expect it to work on bosses. Um, now, Dart, I want to go Dragoon. Basically, I want to do Dart and then Albert. Essentially uh, because, well not essentially, but really only because Dart has level 3 and Albert has level 2. So this will allow them both to be in Dragoon simultaneously for the longest amount of time possible. I don't know if that has any real sound strategical benefit, but that's what I'm doing. I hate that stupid dragon edition, dragoon edition. He is really targeting Albert exclusively, huh? That's fine, I've got <laughs> eight healing potions. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hashel, you're going on healed duty now.
How was that a miss? That felt spot on. Alright, let's see Albert's Dragoon. Did I do this with him already? I don't recall. Look at that, it's the same as Lavitz. I mean, the Dragoon armor doesn't change. Just the person inside of it. Hey, pretty good. Uh, Hashel can attack. I don't think anyone's low enough on HP to worry at the moment. Ugh, uh, if you want to play tough, I can play that way too. Ooh, now the real fight begins. This dude a Dragoon or something? Heck, he is. Okay. Ooh. That's pretty sick. I guess there's four in the Dragoon Edition. Thought there was five. Hmm, 100 SP. I could get to Dragooning again sooner. I don't know if it's necessary. Let's see how much damage we're doing as regular people. I mean, Hashel can't Dragoon anyway. Ooh. Okay, 76. That's fine. That's so much better. Shauna would have, like, been one shot, I'm sure. Fifty-three, so a little more than half of what I was doing as a Dragoon. But also, that got me 100 SP, so two more of those and I can Dragoon again for a full three turns. And all I have to do in the meantime is stay alive, which seems to be pretty easy. At least so far, this guy hasn't uh, pulled out any crazy attacks. I'm sure he will, but he hasn't yet. Still the same attack. Oof. But Albert's a little weak to it. That's alright. We've got the healing potions. We're in good shape, I think. So far so good anyway, right? I'm really nailing my additions, not to toot my own horn, but... Feels good. Dart will be dragooning again now. Well, on his next turn, of course. Here comes a crazy attack. Show me what you got. Hmm, pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's a 
an impressive attack. Time to start healing, throwing healing potions around again. again already? That seems a bit um, spammy if you can do it twice in a row. I'm a little worried, especially about Dart and Albert. Eh, they're okay. Good. Did I have anything that was like completely... No. No, like full party heals. Alright. Obviously first potion goes to Albert. Dart's gonna attack while he's a Dragoon. got a shield. Well, that's fine, because I want to take some time to heal anyway. Um, Hashel, actually, you're next. You've got the fewest hit points remaining. Albert, um, healing potion on dart. There goes the shield. Oh, no. It just dropped for a second while he uses an item. A boosted all targets item? Screw you, dude. Come on. That's stupid. Perhaps this will punch through the shield. Now that was cool. Of course it does zero because he's got that stupid shield. Ugh. Well, I do have revival items. Annoying though it is to have to use them. wonder if I should have brought Rose instead of Albert. Or if she would just get clobbered as badly as Shauna does. This dude is ridiculous. Get it, he's a big story boss, but holy crap, what is going on? I can't do anything to him now. I 
There's almost nothing left to do but just guard and hope for the best. He is my last healing potion. Oh, we have eight healing potions. We're in good shape. Yeah, thanks past me. That was real cocky. Can you do something other than that spammy broken item? Bruh. He's probably got friggin' 32 of those. We might be doing this fight again on Monday. Albert has to guard, because otherwise he just dies. I'm out of healing items, and I need HP desperately, so... As much as I'd like Dart to attack... Hashel too. I have to get my HP back here. Oh, come on. I can't believe I messed up that timing. Okay, we're back to puny attacks. That's good. Probably should have guarded again, but... I notice he's down to half HP. Oh boy. Unguarded. That's gonna be another 76. Alright, time to Dragoonize Albert as soon as I can. Guard. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, this item's maybe not as bad. Nope, that item's worse. And I'm out of heals. Can't do anything now. Yay. It's gonna be our first game over. Especially if I mess up my additions like that. Now he's just screwing with me. Okay, Dart's gonna die this time. Ha, ha, devil punch. And now it's Hashel's turn. Those are some broken frickin' items that he has. Holy heck. All right, well, that's it. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that we're ending on a game over. If you enjoyed the rest of this video, please leave a like. I know you probably don't like the game over. I certainly don't. Um, this has been a very frustrating episode, but we'll bounce back next Monday. Uh, come back and kick some butt. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon every Monday and Wednesday. And on Fridays, I do Dragon Quest Builders too. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And other than that, once again, sorry, and thank you for watching all the same. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.